On the Hill by Kenya Abney. It was where we played as children. He thought that he loved me. It was where he let me know that we could, should see other people. Before that day, I looked forward to going to college. We talked about coming back for weekends and how long distance wouldn't hurt our love before that morbid moment. My grief over the lost relationship overshadowed freshman week and getting to know the people on my floor. My poor roommate stopped trying to get to know me and became besties with our sweet mate. I sat, ate, studied, and walked alone so much that I almost didn't exist. In regards to university life, I was a shadow that maintained excellent grades. I came home so often during my first semester that my dad forbade me to return until Thanksgiving. When I came home for the holiday, my mother warned me that I needed to pull it together for dinner and our evening festivities. Unbeknownst to me, I was the only one taking the break up hard. He'd pledged a fraternity and met his latest girlfriend. She was a member of his sister's sorority. She had not come home with him for the holidays, but she had met his mother during a school visit. The disloyal cow liked her. She broke the news to my mom upon her return. No one told me how much she was flourishing because how deep my emotions were. They hoped that while I was away, I would meet someone and make friends. When I returned home, I was a little less of a shadow, but not nearly as close to the person they knew me to be. Our families were close and always shared Thanksgiving evening in my dad's man cave watching football. As family and friends filled the house with stories, laughter, and sympathetic looks for me, I decided to escape. Despite the fresh snow falling around me, I made my way to the top of the hill. To my surprise, there he was as if he knew we would be there. We talked, with a gap as big as an emotional distance between us. We leaned in and gave a last kiss to each other and the place he held in my life. It was a happy Thanksgiving after that.